Hello friend, I have a situation in my office. I have one Cisco switch and I like to log in in this switch but I don't know the password. Someone said the enable password and no one in our office know this password. So what to do now? If you have this type of situation in your life, this video is for you. In this video, I am going to show you how to restore or how to recover Cisco switch password without disturbing the old configuration so let's start it my name is Abdul Basit and I'm going to use a real Cisco 2960 switch in this video we will do this with very easy and simple seven steps first we will enter to Roman mode of the switch number two we will rename the configuration file number three we will restore the switch in number four we will rename configuration file with original name number five we will copy in running config in six we will update the new password and secret and finally the last step we will save the configuration and restart after that we will log in in this switch with new password and secret and we will see the old configuration so let's start it but why we need to do that there can be many reasons you know that Cisco switch working fine many years and years without any changes and during this long time you forget or lose your password file or your IT engineer changed his job and did not provide password before leaving or you forget your password but don't want to lose your old configuration or whatever the reason but if you want to recover your Cisco switch password then follow this easy seven steps so let's start it item we need here is power cord and a console cable and laptop with terminal application pate i'm going to turn this switch around and going to connect this power cable to the switch here you can see the back side of the switch i'm going to connect the power cable here in the power input and the RJ45 end of the console cable going to connect to the console port on the behind of the switch. Now I'm going to turn this switch again and front side will come. The USB end of this console cable going to connect to USB port of my laptop and here is it. And now I will run the application party. But one thing you notice, I did not switch on the switch till now. Here you see my switch still power off. Now here I will bring my power extension in this picture. I'm going to connect this switch here. It's still power off. This is the most important step to restore password. We need to go to Roman mode first. For that, I need to press and hold this mode button in the switch. Here you can see, I need to press and hold this mode button and then power on the switch. I'm going to power on. Here is it. Now we will wait. We need to keep press and hold mode button continuously and watching the terminal application party until switch boot up and password recovery mechanism is enabled message not shown on party. Here you can see, now you can leave this mode button and you can see flash initiate and boot options on party. Now we can do, we type our first command flash initiate, enter. It will take couple of seconds to initialize flash memory. After initialize flash, we need to find configuration file for that i use command dir flash colon and enter basically you have to initialize flash before to run dir flash command if you use dir flash command before initializing flash it will not work or you cannot see these files so here you can see config.txt file this file contain all configuration and password also 
do not delete it only we need to rename it after rename switch actually ignore the configuration file while booting and start as a new without any configuration to rename this file we use command rename flash colon config dot text the file name or current file name space flash colon config dot old so we rename this file with config dot text to config dot old it is not only change the name of this file it will change extension to something that not recognized by switch so rename config file done to check that i will type dry flash colon and here is it you can see the before the file name is config.txt and after change or rename the file name is changed to config.old now we need to boot this switch again but no need to press mode button this time so in next step we just reboot this switch to reboot i will type command boot and enter it will take some time i will fast forward this video and when switch boot up it will not found config.txt file and will not start with old configuration and of course will not ask password for login Here is it. Now we are in the switch without any password. Now we go to enable mode. If you type command show run, you notice that it did not have any configuration, totally blank because it could not find its configuration file or its old configuration file. Now we need to rename this configuration file back to original to check current file name i use command dir flash colon and enter here you can see the configuration file is config.old to rename it i type rename flash colon config.old and again flash config dot text and enter it asks destination file config dot test yes and done now if we reboot the switch it will get his actual configuration file or old configuration file and will ask password again for login we don't want that so we need to change password here something that we know the whole reason to log in this cisco switch via roman mode is we did not have the password but first i'm going to copy config test file or switch configuration to running config for that i will type copy flash config dot text to running config and enter enter again so now i copy config file into running config and now i change switch login password and secret also you can see the switch is taking the old configuration it load the all old configuration and you notice that the switch host name also changed to switch 2960 as per the configuration file the before the switch name is only switch but when we load the configuration file into running config it change his host name here you can see okay now i need to change switch login password and secret also for that i will go to privilege mode i will type config p or config terminal 
enter now first i need to change the naval password i will type naval password now i can put new password to this switch that i know for this video i will put the name cisco and i will change the secret also to cisco 1 enter that's it now we update enable password and secret in this switch something we know now now i exit from privilege mode last but most important step is don't forget to save configuration file after password update for that i will type copy running config startup config and enter enter again now i'm going to reboot this switch after restart switch will get his all old configuration and updated login password also to restart the switch i will type the command reload and enter enter again now switch is going to take the reboot i am going to fast forward this video after completing the reboot i will log in the switch with new password that we set now So here you can see my switch reboot is completed. I'm going to enable mode. I type enable and enter. It asks password. Before we don't know the password of the switch. But now we follow the seven simple step and we reset the password. Now I will type my new password. That was Cisco1 and enter. And here is it. Now we log in with our Cisco switch successfully with new password so now you know that how to successfully done cisco switch 2960 password recovery without losing configuration and switch working back as normal if i type command show run and here you can see the old configuration also interface are configured multiple vlans and that's it I hope so you enjoyed this video and you know that how to restore a Cisco password without losing the old configuration. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video. You saw how to successfully break into a Cisco switch and change login password without losing old configuration. Thank you guys for viewing my video. I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe my channel and I am waiting for your comments on my video. Thank you.